Hey guys, welcome back to another Project Pokemon uh, video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get um, your Pokemon to the best state they could be. Um, let's think of a title for this right now. Um, right, how to get perfect Pokemon. How about that? Yeah, let's do that. Um, so, this is my current PvP team, as you can see. Um, um, right, this not going to that section. Right, as you can see, uh, we have the perfect natures on them, Edamon, which um, on my um, Hariyama which increases attack, decreases special attack because Hariyama does not need special attack at all. Um, you, you know what, why are we doing this? Um, right, so first first of all, um, natures are probably the last thing you need. Um, actually, you, you really need natures to be good as well. But they don't affect yes other things, so I'm gonna address natures the last. But um, do watch to the end, guys. Um, I, if you wanna get perfect home on, uh, you, you should watch to the end. Um, right. So let's go into. All right, guys. So this is in the Elegant Valley. Um, if you wanna know how to get up to Elegant Valley, um, most of you should know already. But I'm gonna tell you guys anyway for any uh, new comers of, I guess uh, any new eight badges. Um, if you. Make it to the elegant, uh, make it to the indigo league. Let, let's just go there right now. I'll show you guys. Right, so guys, basically, uh, my plan in this video is to show you how to get EVs, IVs. Uh, not really where to catch Pokemon. Um, EVs and IVs and natures, um, and how to get the perfect ones without spending too much money um, and spe spending time instead. So let's go to Indigo Valley. Right, basically. Um, Indigo Valley is the um, no, not Indigo Valley. What Indigo Plateau? Sorry, um, Indigo Plateau is like the final stage um, where you fight the champion. Um, right. So basically, once you reach um, Indigo Plateau, you um, uh, and you walk in, you see this guy with um, yeah, this T-shirt. You're gonna want to talk to him. Um, you just have to turn left the moment you walk in. Um, He'll say, I created this cool place called the Elegant Valley, do you want to go to it? Right, so um, you make it to the Elegant Valley. If you have already came here before, you can just take a taxi in here. Um, so, once you reach Elegant Valley, um, you can just turn right and uh, go up this few um, stairs and uh, you can walk back go up to this house and talk to this guy. So, yeah, so um, today I'm gonna show you. First of all, I'm gonna. Yeah, let's just show you guys. So here are the IVs, um, IVs are random, you can't actually um, choose the IVs you get when you catch them, but what you can do is um, give, him even, give your Pokemon even better IVs. So um, in the official Pokemon games and, project, uh, and Pokemon Brick Bronze, this isn't an actual uh, thing where you can, that you can do. Uh, I mean obviously you can, check, you can check EVs and IVs, but... Um, right, you... Basically, guys, every Pokemon um, can get um, have a EV total, EV total of um, let me count it right here um, of um, five hundred, no, five hundred and ten, I believe. Yeah, I think it's five hundred and ten. So every Pokemon can have a uh, five hundred ten EV total. Um, if you count all of this together, two by two plus two by two plus one plus one plus three plus one. Uh, you calculate to get 510, I believe. Um, so the max step, um, max EVs they can get, you can get for every step. Uh, every step is 252. They won't allow you to uh, train any higher than that. Um, so you, the most you can uh, max up, max the the max EVs you can get for every step is not. All right, guys. So basically. Um, since you want to get, um, since you can only get 252 um, EVs in every stat, you have to choose the two uh, the best stats that you want on your Pokemon. Um, Azumarill is really slow, as you can see, the base speed is 50, uh, which is really really slow by the way guys. Um, so, you're not going to want the EV train speed. Um, the 6 uh, remaining EVs after you train to, uh, 252 in, on both on the, of the best stats. Uh, you're gonna want to give it for the six EVs for something else because that might help you in a later. Um, it might help you a little bit. So, um, I think that the best that Azumarill in is uh, 
252 in HP, 252 in attack, and 252, no, and 6 in defense. So, um, I just got lucky and I got uh, 31 IVs in defense. Uh, so, basically, guys, the max IVs you can get for every stat is, um, well, 31. And, um, so if you have enough money, um, as you can see, guys, I'm kind of broke right now. Yeah, close to 500. But, um, so basically, if you go to Elegant Valley, it's like pretty much everything. Um, you don't have to buy this stuff at Elegant Valley, guys. Uh, most Pokemon has everything that you could possibly need. So, do you want to reset the nature? For example, um, if you're, for example, if you have a modest nature, Azumarill, um, and, um, you, uh, want... Well, guys, if you go to onto Bubble Feed there, you can check the highest stats, um, for your Pokemon. Sometimes you don't want to EV train the highest stats, for example. Drapion, Drapion's highest stat is defense, but you want to EV train it in attack and speed. Um, cause it's gonna do a lot of damage, um, and it's quite fast, I guess. Um, but, yeah, for B-Barrel, attack and speed, I guess, I... I think I be training with HPH. I'm not sure, guys. Um, so let's just talk about one of the most meta, most overused Pokemon in this game, Charizard. Since most Pokemon use uh, Mega Charizard X, I'm gonna explain how to run it, alright, guys. I'm not gonna talk about move sets. Um, although when you are creating your move set, you wanna think about coverage, stab, um, how to get sweeps on, how to stop sweeps. Um, you basically want a lot of variety on your team. So my team, um, I've considered uh, Mega Slowbro. Mega Slowbro has a lot of defense, but not as much special defense. Um, relying completely on Calm Minds to boost, to boost his special defense. So, you want... Sorry guys. <laughs> so you want to run as many uh, special... Uh, you want to run some special attacking Pokemon and some physical attacking Pokemon. Sometimes you might run one run like moves like Psy Shock, which um, is a special attacking move, but it does physical damage. Um, Cause if Blissey comes out of Chansey, um, you wanna do uh, Chansey as like very bad defenses, but very very good special defense. So if you go for like Psy Shock, it's gonna do like very very decent damage. Um, some Pokemon you have to consider um, if you're able to set up and whether they need to set up or not. For example, my Delphox. Delphox can learn Combine or I think gets it by TM actually. But I didn't give it a uh, Combine because um, it does have nice special defense but um, I just wanted more coverage. So um, yeah guys, these are the kind of things that you have to consider when you're making a team. Um, you want to consider priority moves like on my Mega Pinsir, I do run Quick Attack on it, which has stat because of Aerial Light, um, which I'm not going to go further into. Um, yeah, you have to, you do need stat moves on every single Pokemon, guys. For example, Mewtwo, it needs at least a, a Psychic move, alright? Um, Darkrai, at least Dark Pulse. Um, you can't run like mine, where it has the weirdest move ever. Um, I think it's here, right? Um, yeah, here. This one has like protect on it. Um, no, I guess Dark Void is a sp um, is a dark type move, but it doesn't get stepped uh, just because it's a dark type move. Because it's not, a, it's not a attacking move. For Megas, you have to consider like Megas, like Mega Sceptile. If you Mega Evolves, it's gonna become a uh, Grass and um, a uh, Dragon type. So you can run Dragon Pulse on it, which gets a boost if it's Mega Evolve. And it keeps the grass typing so you can go for grass type moves as well. Um, basically, if you want an IV train, um, I'm just gonna buy one right here because I really have no money, guys. Um, you're gonna wanna buy one. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna get a spe specific um, uh, IV, uh, it's best that you like soft reset for the IVs. So for now, I'm gonna show you. Um, Right, giving the um, Azumarill the um, Pokemon proof, it gets special defense maxed out, which isn't good at all. Uh, you really want the attack um, boost or the HP boost, so. Yeah, let's just leave the server right here. 
Um, by the way, guys, um, in case you're wondering, most of the time I do play on PC, but I record on mobile because I think it's better to record on mobile than PC. Uh, because my PC is a family computer, it's not really that big on for gaming. Um, so yeah, the run. I don't try to record on it. Um, my family. Uh, runs their files on it, so I can't actually record on PC. I can record on PC, but um, I don't want to make mix, mix up their files or something like that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you a live um um copy set right here. So basically, if you don't get it first time, uh, which you shouldn't, because um it's really lucky if you do. You wanna um you wanna just leave the server, join another one, and just use it again. I just used the IV on the wrong Pokemon guys, um, so that's bad. Let's just leave the server again and um Also guys if you wanna soft reset do make sure that you only have the Pokemon that you want to soft reset with on your team. Uh, otherwise you be like me and make an accidental um you give it to the wrong Pokemon. Which is really really bad. Um And sometimes it's not like a definite it's not like you definitely get your the IVs that you want. For example, on Zoro, you might you really want HP and attack IVs. Um, but I don't. I'm not gonna do that, cause I mean I'm. Uh, you can't actually get it for sure, cause it's very random. And uh, I think that I rather the, uh, the attack stat um, than the HP set here. But if you do get HP, I'm just gonna continue uh, IV um, stop setting for the attack step. Um, if you wanna get money, guys, um, do check out my Aegis, um, how to be Aegis video. Um, oh, we got HP. God damn it. Um, do check out the how to how to, um, how to be Aegis video. Um, I do show you how to be Aegis there and how to earn a lot of money. Uh, I believe on the first time you're gonna get 200k cash. So um, yeah, it's. Quite a lot. So guys, um, basically here, um, this is ISO. I know that you, a lot of you guys know who ISO is, right? But um, a lot, I see a lot of people saying that training with the normal ISO is EV training. No, guys, that's completely wrong. It does give you HP EVs. It does, but um, you, if you're gonna try to uh, EV train for other stats like attack, um, special attack, speed, um, special defense, defense. Or you want to EV train HP faster? Cause um, ISO really isn't meant for EV training. It's meant for uh, leveling up. Basically, all you have to do is, guys, um, you just type ISO. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's caps in any way, guys. You can like type like like this. Uh, basically, if you want to train a text stat, you just put ISO underscore. It's always gonna be an ISO underscore, guys. And then you type the stat that you want. For example, I want a text stat, so um. You can just like I'll show you guys that you can sorry I spelled wrong. Um you can just type this any way you like. It will still give you the the um the bot that you want to battle. Um obviously this is meant for battling other uh champions bots but um uh, mostly it's for EV training. Um so as you can see here's the ISO attack bot um I'm not gonna battle it because it's really time consuming and uh, I don't wanna waste any more time. Uh, but if you battle it, he will give you 6 Nino Kings. If you wanna EV train, I'm just gonna show, show you all of them, guys. You got ISO Speed. Just type this in, it gives you ISO Speed. Um, see, you learn the data, yeah. ISO. You wanna give ISO Special Defense. And now, you don't have to type it like me, guys. I just like typing it. Fun. Um, and guys, there's also another stat called the HP stat. You just type ISO HP, um, you don't have to type caps as I said. Um, you can just. Uh, God damn it. Right, um, this is the HP. Okay, please. I'm scared. Right, so guys, um, as you can see, the ISO HP robot is out. So, yeah, guys, um, there's. I'm, I'm not gonna do the math in my I think that's um, six stats that you can choose from. Attack stat, defense stat, special defense stat, special attack stat, stat, speed stat, and HP stat. 
My Azumarill is EV Train in um, Attack and HP. Hariyama as well, Attack and HP. Um, Mamoswine can be EV Train in Attack and HP, but I train in Attack and Speed because I like speed. Um, <laughs> Set Tower is EV Train in Special Attack and Speed. Um, it can be EV Train in Attack and Speed as well, but uh, you wanna. It depends on uh, whether it's a physical set or a special set, really. It's your choice. Um, Scepter doesn't have the worst um, physical um, moves learn set and um, uh, attack stat either. So, um, guys, basically. Sorry, guys. Um, so. Going back to Elegant Metal here, um, as if you recall from. I'll be right back, guys. Right guys, so basically, um, if you recall from earlier, we um, got the soft reset up for the Pokemon Proof and we got the um, 31 IVs in HP. I'm gonna show you real quick that it actually works. Um, it's really costly, but it's worth it guys. Um, IVs are really important. We got 31 IVs in HP. Um, hold on guys. Alright, so... Um, Basically, I want to EV train, uh, EV train, Azumarill in attack and, um, HP, because, yeah, it needs attack and HP, so I'm gonna try to get the attack stat now. Uh, you don't wanna, like, bulk buy it on one go, um, you're gonna bulk, the amount is gonna be the same earlier, but, you wanna buy them one by one, because, um, you never know how many you're gonna use. Um, so basically, I'm gonna save here, because I'm gonna stop this out, obviously. Um, saving the HP stat for earlier, we're gonna try to soft reset for the um, attack stat now. Obviously, since you have 31 IVs in uh, 2 stats now, um, the chances of getting the attack stat, uh, the attack stat maxed out is rather high. Um, hopefully, you get it right here. And we do, guys! Woo! Alright, so we got the uh, 31 IVs in attack now. That's really, really good. Um, usually, soft resetting doesn't happen so fast. It actually takes like, quite a while. I remember when I saw this at the nature for my uh, Mega Hound Doom. My Mega Hound Doom. It took around uh, 2 hours. Uh, 1 to 2 hours, like. Or maybe. Nah, I'm, I'm exaggerating. It's around 30 minutes to an hour. Um, but there are those times like this where um, IV training it. Uh, IV. Soft resetting IVs are. Um, really quick. So, yeah, that's good. So, basically, guys. Uh, back to Saffron here. Um, basically, we have gotten the IVs on my uh, Azumarill already. They want IVs in both HP and attack. Um, so I'm gonna explain ISO a little bit more. Alright, guys. So um, obviously, the perfect point one is to get max IVs, max EVs in the right stat, of course, and the perfect nature. That's how you get um, perfect Pokemon. So um, after you have maxed your IVs on the right stats, uh, maybe you might want to. IV train in every single stat actually. I'm um, not sure I haven't closed the leaderboard yet. Anyways, um, as I said, you can type in the stat that you want. Um, um, if you want to get uh, your attack stat up, up um, you want to get the HP. Um, um, no, I mean, if you want to get your attack stat up, you want to battle the ISO attack. If you want to get your HP stat up, you want to battle the ISO HP. Um, so, guys, I'm going to show you. Um, so guys, um, obviously if you have used your Pokemon for quite a, while, a long while in your normal journey, instead of just PvP, um, your EVs are going to get mixed up because you're going to battle a lot of different Pokemon and a lot of grinding in the tall grass. Um, so, what you have to do is, um, you, as I said, you go to Elegant Valley, you check the EVs. If the EVs are actually good for some strange reason, it really shouldn't be guys. 99.9 um, .9 of the time, it's going to be really mixed up. So basically, um, if you want, if the EVs are just a little bit mixed up, uh, you can buy the uh, mini stat reset with my, which minus off um, 10 IV, EVs from every single stat. You can't choose which EVs you want to minus off, guys. It just doesn't work that way. There's also a stat reset which um, just resets every single stat of EV, uh, the EVs for every single stat. Um, but you really want to like grind immediately after that, otherwise your Pokemon are really, really useless. I don't know why I say that. Um, but so usually, um, now I just, obviously once your newly caught Pokemon will not have any EVs at all, because you haven't battled with them at all, um, 
I believe that EV is the short form for effort value. Um, but as I said, once you start with that, um, you get zero EVs and everything, and then you can just start EV training at ISO. Um, you do not want to level up before you EV train, guys, because um, even if it's uh, leveling up at ISO, it's gonna give you, uh, I believe, 12 EVs every single time you uh, battle ISO. finish ISO with the same Pokemon over and over again. Even if, even if it's by EXP share, um, you do get the EVs. So yeah, um, guys, so once you do the start reset, um, uh, if you bear this guy, um, what do y'all say? But, guys, got, um, damn, I really forgot. Oh, shit. So guys, damn, I really forgot. Um, once you get the right stats for all the Pokemon, um, you can just level it up and just evolve it, and they are pretty much ready for battle. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, that's how we get perfect at EVs, guys. Um, you have to get the start reset. Um, just reset the whole thing to double. Um, to confirm that it has all been reset, um, you can go to Elegant Valley and check it out. I'm not gonna do it because um, it's fuck. I don't waste any more money. And uh, you can just talk to this guy, and um, as I said, you give you die EV. So that's how you get it, guys. Uh, IV training is not really necessary because um, usually EVs are good enough because most of the Project Homework community does not EV train. Um, so. Once you get the EVs and the correct IVs, um, excuse me, one on work on on is on is nature. Um, I believe that the only way, only place you can buy nature stones are um, Elegant Valley. And um, if you're rich, like you have 100k and you you don't mind spending it, and uh, you don't waste time on self resetting, you can just go to this guy and just talk to him. Um, he will give you the right EVs that uh, right EVs that you want. Um, so. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it because I want to save my money. Um, but usually, I just soft reset with nature stones to preserve my money. And uh, yeah, it's just five five k. It's not really like uh, expensive. And um, if you're running a Charizard Y, you will want to get Team in uh, Sorry, but right there. Do you want to get Team Nature if you are running a Charizard X? Do you want to get Jolly Nature? Which is uh, Jolly is increase. I'm just gonna explain all the nature guys. Um, all that I know at least. Um, I think that calm is um, decrease attack and increase special defense. Not too sure guys. Um, but um, right. Let's think it's true. Right. So adamant is increase attack, decrease special attack. Um, jolly is increase speed and decrease special attack. Um. Timid is decrease attack and increase special. No, uh, timid is increase speed and decrease uh, physical attack. Um, modest is increase special attack and decrease a uh, physical attack. Naive is in de increase speed stat and um, fence and um. So yeah. Um. Oh, sorry, no. I don't really know that much about nature's guys. I only know the basic four. Um, yeah, so yeah, guys. So um, to summarize everything, I'm just gonna um, say it all right here. <coughs> Voice try again. To summarize it right here. I'm just, I think I will leave um, the how to. If you can't really ex understand my explanation during the video, I can just um, explain it down in the description below. Uh, do open up the description if you want to see um, how to actually get the right Pokemon. So uh, basically, EV training costs a little bit money. Um, does a, need a little bit of math. Um, if you IV train, soft reset with the Poké Improve, it costs 30k. Um, 30k dollars every Poké Improve. Um, there's six stats in total, so six times three is 18. Um, 18. 180k dollars in total to max out the IVs in uh, one Pokemon stat. Um, what I mean by max out the IVs is they has perfect IVs in every stat, 31 in IVs every stat, which is the best IVs you can possibly get. Um, 
there are no limitations in um, IVs either. Like what I mean by no limitations uh, is that you just it's not like you can only get 31 IVs in two stats. You can get it in every stat, so that's pretty good. For um, the EVs, um, you can only get 252 in two stats and then six in um, six in the remaining stats um, that you want. Six really doesn't matter that much. It might matter, uh, and most of the time it won't. So that's how you EV train. Um, so EV train is you can choose from the six, um, six. ISO bots that well actually that's seven the normal ISO and the six stat ISO and I remember guys don't um, level up before you EV train just gonna just cut off all your that's just gonna mix up your EVs quite a bit and uh, if you already have good EVs and uh, you just wanna mine stuff a little and you have a lot of money just mine use the mini stat reset um, you can also use poke boosters um, not the uh, experience one guys, the effort value one uh, It's a little bit costly, I actually had a lot of money previously but I used it on Pokemon Proofs to get uh, to speed up the process of EV training so um, that's pretty dumb on me Lastly, self resetting, I mean not self resetting uh, Lastly, getting the right natures You can talk to this net sightings right here or you can self reset the natures things uh, You can also get um, natures stones from the Dada Tower at um, Serious Grotto for 4 BP each, um, which I wouldn't want to use BP over money because 5k is pretty easy to get um, for everyone actually. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, this video helped you get perfect Pokemon. I guess you can say that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, it helped you. Hopefully, my tips help you. If you want to battle me, comment down below. Um, comment down below on what kind of guides you want me to do next. Um, Ask me any questions you want downstairs. I mean, not downstairs. Down in the comment section below, and uh, don't ask me personal questions, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.